Hello everyone, welcome back to another new video, and since some of you want to see original studies, I will do just that with my original study involving two amazing lines in a solution. In my position, white is up a rook, and the opponent's bishop can be taken right away. But black has two pawns that are just one step away from promotion, and if white plays the aforementioned king takes h8, black's a pawn will promote with check. After king to h7 black will calmly play f6, and on the next move the other pawn will promote as well. White will need to create a mating net around black's king, but g4 check lets the king escape with king to h4, and the bishop cannot control that square because of that pawn on f2. Rook to c5 allows bishop to f6, there seems to be no way, right? That is incorrect, because you underestimated the power of your most important piece. The king? White can play king to h7, threatening rook to h6 mate. If black plays the obvious move f6, white's rook will not stop creating threats. With rook to c4, white intends a classic frontal block checkmate with rook to h4 and g4, and it turns out that the dark squared bishop does indeed have a use. Black must play f5 to cover g4, but now white's rook returns to the sixth rank. The only way to stop mate on h6 is bishop to g7, and now, don't take the bait and let black promote with check, play rook to g6 to threaten rook takes g5 mate. f4 is again forced, and now white has a perpetual starting with g takes f4, which frees up the h4 square for black's king, but do you see how white can check mate? The answer is the brilliant move bishop to c3. Simply an amazing move with the idea that after b takes c3 king takes g7, black can no longer promote with check. Otherwise, white will capture on g7 with the bishop, so black plays bishop to f8. But after bishop to f6, rook takes g5 check finally comes, resulting in a mate where white symbolically stops both of black's pawns as well. But this isn't the end yet. What if black plays bishop to g7 instead of f6? I hope you found the solution to this line as well, because this is even crazier. White must now take the bishop, allowing black to promote with check. The plot twist is that white will block the check with c3, and with the mating threat still on, f6 is forced for black. Is this losing for white now that black can check on the 7th rank? That is just an illusion because of the stunning quiet move bishop to e3. This threatens g4 check and a bishop mate, so black gets a second queen, perfect. Only for white after rook to c8, and despite being two queens up, there is no way to prevent the threat of rook to h8 mate, other than to sacrifice both queens to prolong the game for a few more moves. Both of these lines stunned me more than anything else when I discovered them. If you want to see more brilliant chess studies like this be sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to join my discord server for more. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.